my brother was nice enough to allow me to use his stand. I don't know where the heck my stand is. On Amazon, I ordered like a four wheel, <laughs> I know this sounds ridiculous, like a four wheel mini like briefcase. It's so cute. Like I could wear it as a backpack or during the week. I can put all my stuff in there because this has been a week has been a complete disaster with me losing everything. So I'm so grateful that he's allowing me to use his little stand. It's actually better than mine. I don't think he's going to give it to me because it was a gift, but this coffee so good. I was going to buy coffee, but sometimes I'm like, eh, the, the coffee I have at home be hitting. I want to talk to you guys today. A couple days ago, I was having a horrible day from start, but not to the finish. Y'all hear that? From start, but not to the finish. And I'm going to tell you guys why. So I, for the last past week, it's been a lot of stuff going on. It's just me. So imagine one person just doing everything, making sure finances are taken care of, making sure the cars are serviced, making sure that it, the landscaping and everything is getting and taken care of, making sure the house is clean, making sure the kids are getting taken care of, making sure I take care of myself. So all one person, when you're in a two person home, you feel the difference. I was like, God damn. Okay. So it was a very busy week all year, all last week. And then kind of going into this week. So the way that I set up my schedule at work, I've been very, very busy. So I was getting a little bit overwhelmed. And then not only to speak about work, but personal stuff ha has been going on and I've been running around doing all this stuff. So let me tell you now, like everything, everything that I signed up for, I signed up for it and I'm grateful for it, right? Like such as like fostering, I signed up for that. So anything that I have to do for my kiddos, I'm beyond ecstatic to do it because I love them. They're in a safe environment. I love children. This is what I do. This is, this is, this is what I do. So I'm not talking about that. So this week was just not a good week for me. Like it just was not a good week. Right? So yesterday I had a dream. Okay. I had a dream about my dad. Um, a dream about my dad. If you guys don't know, my dad passed away. So I had a dream about my dad and you know, his birthday's coming up. So I don't know if anybody can relate to it, but when certain holidays or death anniversaries and different things like that. And my dog passed away. I know you guys are like, you mentioned your dog. Yes. That's my first love. My baby had her for 12 years before I got married, before I had a kid, before any of that, my dog was my baby. So my dog's death anniversary is actually on the seventh. And then my dad's birthday is coming up. So my body feels it. And I had a dream about my dad. So I'm kind of bouncing around. I had a dream about my dad and the dream woke me up at like five, five thirty in the morning. Right. And the dream had me so sad, I could not go back to sleep. I could not, right? So I'm up and I'm like, wow, okay. Like I'm shooken up at this point. I <laughs> know I'm being, being a little dramatic, but no, I'm being serious. I, I honestly did not know what to do because the dream felt so, so real. So I got up, I'm like, okay, woke up. I'm relieved because I'm like, okay, it's a dream. So now let's go forward. So as I went forward, the dream kept triggering, coming back and it, it kept replaying in my head. Now, usually when I have dreams, I rebuke them, I pray over it, and I don't even think about it. I give it to God, hey, I had a bad dream. I give it to God, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, that's it. So with this dream, I could not get over the dream. It was trickling into my day. Usually I, I'm really good at putting things in perspective. I'm good at separ uh, controlling my emotions and separating how I'm feeling from like my job, my work, like everything else. Like I, like I channel it. I'm very great at that. But on this particular day, I could not do that. Right. I could not. So I'm like crying every moment. Like I'm not like just crying every moment. I'm just crying every moment. So I'm like, okay. So then, um, I have some appointments I have to do and everything. Got the kids to school, all that good stuff. And then I go into work. Right. And then guess what? I lose my cell phone, my cell phone. Oh my goodness. Like my cell phone, I needed to do everything to access files, everything. I need my cell phone. So I'm like, Oh my God. So if it's not one thing it, and it's another, but something in me, I knew I was like, okay, stay calm because I knew it wasn't lost. Right. So I lost my cell phone. All this stuff is 
going on, I go back to work, I still can't stop the crying. <laughs> so I was like, hey, I gotta take this day to myself. I'm like, I lost the cell phone, like all this stuff. Like, I was like, I can't even work there. And I, and I was like, is there any way around this? And they were like, no, like without the cell phone, you can't do anything, right? So I'm like, okay. So without the cell phone, I can't do anything. I will continue to try to find the cell phone. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have to take the day off because I can't access the files or anything. So, and to get a new cell phone, it takes a minute. So I'm like, oh my gosh, right? So I'm like, okay. So then I'm like, all right, like, so then I, I get off the phone, but it was other things going on. I told you the dream. So then after that, I'm like, all right, like, let me go work out. Let me try to get myself together, right? Still a mess, <laughs> okay? I'm like, what the heck is going on? So then I call my mom. She's busy like me doing meeting calls and all that stuff. Call my grandmother. She's busy and, and she can't talk right now. Call my big mama. Call my granny. Sorry, call my granny. She's busy. She can't talk right now. She, she has her own stuff going on, right? Everybody has their own stuff going on. My big mama, she's busy. She's taking care of appointments. She has her own stuff going on. So I'm left with nobody to talk to at all, right? Nobody. I said, God, now I know this is you because I'm going to people right now to talk about my problems and to solve everything that's going on right now. And I know that you made, this sounds crazy, you made them busy and I'm being obedient, right? And I'm not gonna say I try to call them one time, I try to call them different on different times through, through the day, within an hour, busy. So I, I, I sat down, I said, look, I said, God, all right, you got my attention. Right now, you don't want me to look to other people. You want me to look to you, right? I said, okay, okay, like, you got it. So I said a prayer, right? I just start praying. It was like a 10, 15 minute prayer. Mm. This is bomb. It was like a 10, 15 minute prayer, right? I'm praying. And I'm just everything that I'm feeling, every emotion, everything that's going on. I'm praying, I'm giving it to God. Um, I'm praying, I'm giving it to God. I'm telling him everything, right? Everything. I'm telling him how, how I'm feeling. And I'm also apologizing for seeking people. I I have a problem. I, I, I'm doing better at that. But I, when I have anything going on, I want to go to people because I need instant, in, instant validation sometimes. But it's like over the, the last past couple of years... I've been in, I've been in positions and situations to where I have no choice but to lean on God, right? I have no other choice but to lean on God. So since I've, since I've known that and, and experienced that, that's the first thing that I do. So like a couple of days ago, I caught myself not leaning on God first. I was leaning on people. So after I prayed, I felt at ease. I felt so much better, so much better. And then I prayed again. I'm like, God, see, I know. Cause he was telling me, I could hear God telling me, Hey, you need to pray. I need your time right now. You have not been giving me, giving me your time in the past few days. I need your time. Like right now I was hearing it. I was ignoring it. So after I said that prayer, my day got better. I told God, I put all my burdens on you, all my worries, everything, the cell phone. I know that may sound like it's not a big deal, but the cell phone, all that. I'm like, look, I put that all on you. I'm not even going to worry about it. Tell me why the next day when I get to work, I got an email saying, Hey, my show, did you lose a cell phone? We found a cell phone. Listen, I prayed when I was having on that, on that day that I was having a bad day. When I went to sleep, before I went to sleep, I prayed. I said, look, God. The cell phone, I'm not even going to worry about it because I know you got it. I feel it in my spirit. I know that it's not lost. Everything today that I went through, I am going to release all that, all the emotions, everything, and put it onto you. Now, I used to carry all my emotions. Everything that I used to go through, sorry, guys, I had to do something, but I'm back. I wouldn't pray. I would just lean onto my own understanding and just be the boss that I am and just handle everything head on. I'm not going to toot my horn, but I feel like I am a very mentally strong woman. I've been through a lot and I feel like when it comes to a storm or different things that I go through, because of everything that I went through, I'm able to handle everything that's done so much grace. And it's like when you have a strong religion and you really believe in God and you just, you, you are just not, you believe in God and you're just not saying that, but you really lean on God, 
You will notice that your whole life and everything will change and your burdens won't feel as heavy because you have somebody else holding them, holding them up. When you feel like you're holding some, you're holding your burdens and it feels like you, you, you're struggling, that's when you lead on, that's what, that's what God is there for. So everything in my whole entire life, I talk to God about everything. And sometimes I feel like when I feel in a certain way, I can't explain that to anybody, not even a counselor. I can't explain that to anybody. I got to take it to God because some things people can't heal. Only God can heal. So a lot of things that I've been going through, I'm like, I, before, you know, my spiritual journey and me getting closer back to God, I didn't understand why I had all these voids. I talk about voids a lot. And I didn't understand why I was having all these voids and I didn't understand how to fill them. I was trying to find different ways to fill them and nothing will, will work. Now I noticed that now that me and, me and God have been tag teaming this thing. Oh yeah, so like my insecurities and different things that I went through in my childhood that made me have voids and insecurities, I took that to God. And now that I've been taking it to God, I've noticed that I'm in a way different place and everything that I once felt, I don't feel that anymore. And I pray and ask God for these things. God, I'm feeling like this. Can you take this from me? God, I'm feeling like that. Can you take this from me? God, I'm, I'm insecure about this. Can you take this from me? And that's the conversation that I have. And when I start doing that, I notice that things just start shifting. So I lean on God in all things. In all things. I know God made, you know, my mom, my grandmother's not answered. I know he made them not answer. And I said, and I was like, you know what? Okay. I'm praying now and I prayed and I gave my time and I noticed that sometimes I have days where I like slack. I don't pray like that. You know, I wake up and I'm like, how can I go on my day without praising the most high, without praising the person that is the reason why I'm here today, without praising the person that has been there for me ever since I was born into this earth? How, how, how can I be so neglectful? God has been so good to me. I... I, I remember in, in, in it's routine. It's, it's, it's routine for me to pray every single day, all day, every day, all the time. It's routine. It's routine for me to pray. And I just encourage that you put all your burdens on God. And I, and I know that I say that a lot, but after I pray to God, my, my day, everything just started light, just lightened up, lightened up. And it's like, sometimes we can't erase the past. Even though we're in the present, a lot of the things that I went through, like my uncle's death, my dad's death, like different things that I went through in my life, if I could erase it, I most definitely would, but I can't. And some days I feel like I'm just, when you lose somebody, you understand. Some days I feel like I'm just kind of like, it's everything is surreal. Like I'm just going with emotions, just, just going, just going, going with everything. And it's like, I try to, in my mind, just, Hey, everything's good now. But yeah, everything's good now, but what you went through, it still has an effect. You still think about it. You still cry about it. That's just life. It's just life. And I still have those days. I still have those days. My dad has been passed on over, I believe now, I'm not going to count the days or, or, or the years like that, but I believe now like 15 years. So it's like, yeah, like he's passed on. It's been a minute, you know, but I will still never forget certain things that I went through. My uncle, I will still never forget that because those are two people that played a major role in my life. But all I can do is like I've been doing is leaning on God and like, God, I'm struggling with this today. Can you help me? I need help. You got to call on God and ask for help. I notice the more I, I, I ask God for help, he shows up even more because I'm asking, I'm calling on him. So I just wanted to share, share this to y'all. Share this. And when, I, when you're in desperate need and, and, and nobody's available, that's God telling you, hey, look, you got to talk to me. Bring me your burdens. Bring me your worries. That's what I'm here for.